Hi, today I'm going to show you a really easy way to play a guitar boogie. First I'll play it for you. Okay, now today I'm tuned to G open, that's low G, middle is D, high string is G, an octave higher. I'm using a slide, of course, because I'm playing a fretless uh, CBG. Always mute behind the slide with these fingers, cuts down on some of the noise and stuff. And uh, I'll be using a pick today because most of this is double picked. By double picked, I mean down and up. So that first lick, as straightforward it starts on zero so zero twice four twice zero on the next string twice two on the middle string twice three on the middle string twice back to two twice open middle string back to four twice so that's that i'm going to play that twice Next lick, we're going to move up to the 5th fret, which is basically where a C chord is, which is a 4 chord. The first chord, of course, is 1 chord. This is the 4 chord because this is kind of a blues. How you know that, it's done by chord tones, and you can use your fingers. G, A, B, C. Means that's the 4 chord. It's usually represented by Roman numeral to try to cut down on the confusion between things like 4 chord and 5th fret. So on the 5th fret, twice. 2nd fret in the middle. Open on the high string. 2nd on the high string. 3rd on the high string. 2nd on the high string. Open on the high string. 2 on the middle. That's that. Then you do the first lick again. And then we go to uh, the turnaround lick. That starts on the second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, then the fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret. Okay, then we go back to the first lick with a variation. So low string open twice, low string four twice, middle string open twice, middle string second fret twice. Now here's your variation. Go to the high string once, three on the middle once, open on the middle once, and then you slide up to the seventh fret. You can hit them all if you want. I'll play that for you. And then you start the song again. Play as many times as you like. And the seventh fret would be a D chord. Which if you follow my thinking from before, um, you realize is what they call a five chord represented by a V or a Roman numeral five. G, A, B, C, D. Just wanted to mention that because I get a lot of questions about people. What's a one, four, five? I and mean, I'm playing on the fifth and seventh fret. It's very true. But the four chords represented by a four Roman numeral, and it does take place on when you're in open tuning on the fifth fret. And then the five chord represented by a V or a five Roman numeral does take place on the seventh fret. Well, I hope you have fun with that, and I hope I cleared up that little mystery for you. Have a great day. Bye.